hey, before we get into this video, if you like content like this, be sure to like, comment, subscribe so I can keep the content going and it can reach other people who may find this interesting as well. Another year and the girls are still getting robbed by trade. So let's talk about it. It's definitely raining, so hang in there with me. A 19-year-old has been arrested after authorities say he lured numerous gay men to an undisclosed location via the dating app Grinder before robbing them at gunpoint. 19-year-old Zakaria Warren of South Fort in Georgia was arrested by police on Wednesday but has yet to be charged with a crime. Still, investigators told local Atlanta Fox 5 outlet that they've connected Warren to six of the robberies but that they expect many more victims will come forward. He was positively identified by six of the victims, but they believe there are many more victims that will come forward and they're hoping that the victims will come forward. Warren's arrest comes after dozens of victims reported being coerced into meeting up at the Camelot Club condominiums along the old National Highway after communicating on the dating app Grinder. The men who came forward said once they arrived on the scene, they were robbed at gunpoint. Lieutenant Ronnie Wyatt says people are being enticed on these dating sites. They're being tricked into meeting up and once they're getting there, people are taking money and valuable possessions from them. Why it said that people should exercise caution before meeting out with someone familiar. You should exercise those cautions prior to meeting out with the person. Once you get there, it's not a good time to decide, oh, this isn't a good idea because at that point it may be too late. And I couldn't agree more. Exercise caution and use your discretion prior because it may be too late. So this is another man who has came and used the gay dating app to take advantage of black gay men. Now, this isn't unfamiliar. We've covered stories like this prior. Now, fortunately, no one was hurt and harmed in these stories. They were just robbed. You can get those things back. You can't get your life back. Now, I cannot classify him as a DL man because none of these articles are saying that he had sex with the men. They're strictly saying he just used the gay app to... Lure the men into the location and then we're robbing them. But this is only a few victims that are come forward, so it's to be determined. Now, everything that I'm about to say is opinion based, and this is all alleged. I don't know this to be true. He looks, he looks down low to me. He looks gay to me. I mean, the picture is up there. Y'all decide for yourself. But that's really besides the point. He's still a man who came and used the gay dating app to take advantage of gay men. Now, a lot, we just have to be honest. A lot of these men know that a lot of gay men are thirsty or hard up for sex. They know it's not hard to have sex with a lot of gay men. They know a lot of the boys just want to get their rocks off. So what? These men are using it to their advantage. They said it happened to dozens of men within this same stretch of old National Highway. Most of them in the same apartment complex. So I'm like, how is he able to keep doing this throughout weeks? I understand he got one, maybe two, but damn, numerous? Then you have to understand Atlanta does have a plethora of black gay men. I mean, Atlanta does have a lot of black gay men. But this is unfortunate, and he was only 19. Where the hell did this little 19-year-old boy learn this from? And how is he so sure and so confident that this will work for him? My thing to black gay men is, it's 2023. It's time for us to be a little smarter and a little wiser with using these gay dating apps. We've all heard these stories by now. It's not new and it's really not uncommon, and especially in a place in Atlanta. The damn lieutenant even said Atlanta is full of scammers. Come on, so y'all know that. Y'all know that. Not to blame any of the gay men because I'm not necessarily saying linking out with someone and having a hookup is a bad thing, but you definitely need to use your discretion. You need to know where you're going. You need to know who you're meeting. Honestly, to me, it's really not worth it. And if you follow me, you know that I deleted the gay dating apps recently. Like, I'm getting older and these 20s, child, it's really not worth it. And now you have so many download men that have overpopulated the apps. It's like they've taken over the apps now. And they really think they're a prize. But let's get back to 19-year-old Zakaria Warren. Because I'm hopeful that all of the victims will come forward and identify him. They don't know what they're going to charge him with yet. But I can assure you the more victims that come forward, the stronger case they have to put up against him. You have a 19-year-old loser that could literally be doing anything with his life. But he's choosing to manipulate and harass and rob and steal and take from gay men. They don't give a damn about gay men. They don't give a damn about LGBTQ. You are a lick. Oh, and then one key factor that I forgot to mention is that he catfished all of these men. All of his victims were catfished. 
I want to talk about catfishing really quickly because catfishing is horrible within the black gay community. And I don't think people talk about it enough. The amount of catfishing that goes on amongst black gay men is disgusting. I have experienced catfishing multiple times, countless times from men. And these men really think it's okay. And I'm not here to diagnose anybody, but I believe that has to be some type of illness. Like, they literally create whole profiles, whole online personas of people that they are not. I never got the throw or the excitement behind catfishing. I don't want to communicate with no one who is not genuinely attracted to me. I'm not putting up no facade. I'm not pretending to be anybody for what? At some point, you have to prove yourself. Why would it? It's not worth to have some of the time for me. Then I understand I've never, I've always considered myself to be attractive. So some people don't feel attractive. Some people are not happy or confident with themselves. And I get it. But catfishing is, that's still not an excuse to catfish somebody. Work on yourself internally. But now at a certain age, I'm going to say you too grown to be getting catfished. You didn't confirm or identify who you with. They can't FaceTime you. Y'all can't Snapchat video, Instagram video. They can't send you the girl. Use your discretion. But hey, I just wanted to bring this story to y'all. I didn't know if y'all heard it or not. I just wanted to put this information out there. Get this clown's face out there to make the girls aware. Use your discretion when you're meeting people on gay dating apps. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll talk to y'all next time.